So, Volker, I'd, li- I'd like to ask you about the, the other works that are there, because I, I think the whole show could be any city. I know, I know the Any High Street's the main work, and the work that you're, you're developing throughout this, this exhibition, but could you, could you describe the other, the, other, the other works that are there? Yes, um, there is a series of 12 plastic objects. They are basically doctored um, toy televisions, you know, these little wind-up toy televisions. They were Bob there. the Builder toys to start with. Well, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> well, I think one can get them with all sorts of branding. You know, I removed that and um, gave them my own slant um, by putting in 12 lino cuts again, um, left the musical clockworks, um, changed the sounds on those, added a bit of illumination, and basically there are now 12 mounted plastic toys that people can wind up, and inside there are 12 different scenes of public life, in and around Exeter as it presented itself to me kindly <laughs> <laughs> images live drawings mostly I've been out and about I went down to the river and drew people angling you know Sunday morning escapists you know fishing um, girls shopping um, all sorts of things I mean people would have to come and really have a look at it as long as they have the opportunity but the idea of these images that is that um, they sort of are um, almost a form of chronicle, I suppose, and to me they were also a way into the, 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 the bigger project, uh, collecting images and having a very good look at the place I live in. Um, all of these images, they sort of um, seek the generic within the locale somehow, if that makes sense. So I'm looking at Exit, and yes, there are very particular sites and very particular people that I've seen and um, drawn, but I've tried to take care to draw images that could so or in similar ways be found in other places across the UK and that probably answers your question could it be any city um, it could be many cities I hope the other ones are, are based on cells so they come from Ex- Exeter Castle Prison that's right I mean that's a that's, a, that's an earlier work the, the prison cell works I mean one is the one of the holding cells at Exeter Crown Court, which got, I believe, decommissioned in 2008. Um, Cells where people would await trial and leave engraved messages into the walls of the cell with, I don't know what, biros, anything that's hard enough to scratch out a message from the uh, walls of the cells. Um, I think it was 2009 when I did that work, or 10, 10, uh, uh, that I dismantled one of those cells with an angle grinder, literally cut it apart, and then um, drove the plates, the st- steel plates, the walls, the actual cell walls with the engravings um, to a print workshop um, near Melksham and printed those in Taglio on Japanese paper. So they're original prints of the cell walls, and then later. So I you're using the metal as a, as a plate? As, as a, a printing plate, yeah. A genuine, they're genuine etchings, aren't they? So, they? so I used them as an etching plate, which is what they are really, uh, to, to print them, and then reassembled this cell in paper to scale. So and the, 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 the outcome is a, a scale model, so to speak, of the original prison cell in paper kind of inverting the tomb-like qualities of the original, if you, if you want to say. Because you've got the light in the centre of it. Yeah, it's now a source of light. It's like a lantern, basically. It's a very light object. It's suspended above ground, floating there, hovering, glowing away. Um, people not allowed to go in, you know. Uh, some art critic has described it as inhabited by ghosts, which I found quite a nice way of putting it. So there's all these um, engravings that now can be seen from the outside because it's been printed on translucent paper, and there's a strong light source on the inside so people can read it as they walk around it um, as they read the back side of the paper basically because it's shining through isn't it again one to look at um, you know as long as the opportunity exists on Saturday <laughs> right <laughs> right and then, and, and then the other one the pastoral one you, that, is there at the moment just through through video or through a succession of images? That goes back to a side-specific piece of work I've done also in the prison cell spaces where I um, painted another prison cell entirely black and then scraped out with a screwdriver um, a reproduction of an, uh, uh, I think it's an 18th century engraving of Picton House near Exeter. So I basically transcribed one of the local manor houses um, uh, in all its splendour into a prison cell space. And I then what later went, because I obviously can't display that prison cell, it's down in the basement of the castle. I then later went there and took a series of handheld camera shots in which I basically filmed the whole cell in 32 handheld shots and then stitched them together as a moving, trembling image 
of of this site specific work um, to create a record of actually somebody being in sites and the experience of this place as well. So that's a partner piece to the prison cell. It's displayed opposite in the space in RAM. Again, want to go and look at before the show closes down on Saturday. So once that <laughs> once that's gone, you don't think there's going to be uh, other ways of seeing that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there is um, a whole different way of displaying this particular work. I mean, what I'm planning to do in the future is to create another scale model of a prison cell and then project each of the four walls that I filmed onto one of the walls of the model so people can actually walk inside and be like inside a scale model of a prison cell with the video images projected on the outside. But um, that would be one to be seen when but, it's done. Okay. <laughs> but there's, the but there's only going to be one, one site one site for that there's only going to be one one example of that that exists well the original is where it is yeah but this is another piece of work it's more than a document the the video work is a, it's a it's a performative record of that site it's a different piece of work really whereas the the any high street could you could you say a bit more about about how any high street works because this this commissioning process allows people to have a part of it Yes, that they can take away, so, and and there's there's a uh, potentially any any number of, of copies of it. Well, while 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 that while that offer is available, that people could have. Well, yeah, imagine a very very large uh, picture that's being printed in many 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 little fragments until it's all you know complete again. Um, what this is about is essentially a community making possible the coming together of an artwork. So it's a form of joint patronage, if you please. Um, but it's also about the distribution of the work. So I almost see this as a form of pamphleteering, people getting themselves a small section of the image printed, then they take it with them and then they can look at it anytime and they can imagine the overall work. So hoping that something of the essence of the artwork will be, will be hanging in people's houses. Um, it's, um, in doing so, they also acquire a share of the work, you know, and that's both in conceptual as well as in material terms. You know. So as well as being a patron in the small, they can take their bets on the value of the work. You know, <laughs> which at this stage can be acquired very cheaply, and I find that quite funny somehow. <laughs> um, yeah, but most of all, I see it as a form of pamphleteering. Um, although the message is more of an artistic one, it's not, you know, ideologically loaded or didactic in any particular way. So it's just representing what the work is. It's the work. The work is the work, and people can make any sense of it that they please to make of it. Okay. Well, I think we'll stop and have, have some more music.